this video is to show how to remove and replace the blower air motor and filter on a Mercedes SLK 200 2009. You will find this job very difficult as it is located in the underside of the passenger footwell and you will find that after you've done this you will have found muscles that you never thought you had and they will be aching like hell. I cannot understand how a manufacturer like Mercedes designs a car where you've got to take out a air filter for the blower air from a position like this. It is absolutely ridiculous. The reason I removed the blower air fan from its location is because there was a buffeting noise coming from the housing which I suspected could be the one of the flaps of the porting um, mechanism was not seating properly on the port and it was buffeting against the port when the fan was blowing. But when I took it to my Mercedes SLK specialist that services a car, he said these cars are renowned for a problem where if the plenum box drain gets blocked with leaves etc and the water will migrate into the bottom of the blower air housing creating a flooding situation that the motor will be sitting in water at the base causing um, corrosion and um, damaging the bearings and that he suspected this was what the problem was. I asked him how much this was going to cost and he said it's about £300 for a replacement blower air motor and labour to remove and replace it. So I thought, I am never going to pay this, I'm going to have a look myself. So I actually took it apart and filmed it and I found that the motor was in perfect condition, had never seen any um, water, but what had happened by, from what I can see is, is that the um, label that was on the motor that had all the information about um, specifications regarding the blower air motor and this had come unstuck from the motor and this was flapping around inside the blower air housing which was causing the buffeting noise. So it was an easy fix with no cost. This is the offending label that was causing the buffeting noise. Remove the four star drive screws retaining the plastic trim of the passenger footwell roof. Unclip the corner of the footwell cover by the power socket. Then pull the footwell carpet from the back of the footwell towards the car passenger seat. Turn the cover round to facilitate access 
to the power socket supply cable connecting plug. Disconnect the supply cable plug from the socket by pressing the plug retaining clip and with a pulling motion of 90 degrees to the parallel orientation of the socket. Slide the filter housing joint times two retaining clips at front of housing towards the driver's side of the car. Drop the filter housing down into the footwell and remove the filter element placing housing and element into storage location. Disconnect the black power supply plug from the fan housing using a small flat screwdriver placing it into the plug retaining clip and gently lever the plug from the socket. This can be done after the fan housing has been dropped from its location if one wishes to. Remove four of star drive screws from the fan motor housing. When you have removed the four star drive screws retaining the fan housing, allow it to drop to the well hanging on the cables. Remove the yellow control cable socket from fan housing by gently pushing a small flat screwdriver between the plug and the socket where the retaining clip is located to release the clip. When the clip is released, gently pull the plug from the housing socket. Hold the fan motor housing between your knees and your fingers between the fan and the fan housing, gripping the outer edge of the fan and gently remove the fan and motor from the housing by pulling the fan motor assembly from the three rubber mounting points. I left the fan power and control supply cables connected as a quick in spin of the fan motor plus a visual inspection proved there was no issues with the fan motor and the issue revealed itself when the information label from, fell from the fan housing. I sprayed lubricating oil into the motor bearing area more to protect the area from moisture corrosion attack than to lubricate the bearings as they are the shielded type. Engage the retaining pegs on the motor fan assembly to the rubber vibration lugs on the fan housing and press them together. To fully engage the motor assembly to the housing, place a 4 inch long 
five millimeter diameter crop ended rod into the hole in the center of the rubber vibration mountings. Place the other end of the rod on a firm flat surface or as I did in a vise and push down on the fan at that by location. Repeat this process on the other two mountings. Plug the power and control supply plugs into their respective sockets on the fan housing. Place the fan housing into position. Slide the detaining clips across and screw back into position with the star drive screws. Check fan is running OK before proceeding with the rest of the assembly work. Place the filter element into position, then the filter housing over it, ensuring the housing is in the correct position. Place your hand on the side of the filter housing nearest the bulkhead, squeeze it towards you as you push it up to locate the two tabs on the filter housing into the slots in the upper section of the filter housing. Check the tabs on the housing have engaged the slots in the upper housing using a mirror and a flashlight. Place the plug of the power socket supply into position. Place into position the upper footwell panel. Press the retaining clip by the power socket into place. Replace the footwell carpet and place the star drive screws into position.